Imagine a barrier between two people. It could be a physical barrier like a wall, a body of water, or a piece of furniture. It could be a non-physical barrier like distance, time, or a broken relationship. Now imagine the barrier is removed. In one moment it was there, and now it's gone. Now they are face to face with one another. In Matthew chapter 27, verse 51, we read about a symbolic moment where a great barrier was removed. When Jesus died on the cross, the curtain of the temple was torn in two from top to bottom. The curtain was a great woven sheet in the temple that separated a very special place called the Holies of Holies from the rest of the temple. That very special place was the symbolic throne of God where he made himself available to the Israelites. Once a year, a temple leader who followed a very strict ritual of washings and sacrifices could go into the holies of holies and commune with God once a year and only one guy. But then, Jesus, a perfect sacrifice for all the bad things humans have ever done, died. And after he breathed his last breath, the curtain in the temple was torn in two. For the first time, all men and women had access to God and the greatest barrier between people and God was eliminated. And notice that Matthew tells us it was torn from top to bottom, not bottom to top. Why? Could it be because God is the only one who removed the barrier? You and I have access to God through prayer and can find healing from all of the bad things we've done in his presence. Our access to God is no longer blocked because Jesus paid the penalty for our failures. So go ahead, walk into God's presence through prayer. The greatest barrier is gone.